Hello and welcome to another chaos video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do removal, allowing the object that has been broken to fade away into nothingness after a set amount of time. So let's jump in and have a look at where these settings are. So the first thing we need is a fractured wall. So let's go ahead and build that. I'm just going to go ahead and use a little cube. Something like this would do just fine. And <clears throat> we're going to go ahead to fracture mode. We should do from the top left over here. And with it selected, we're going to go to new geometry collection. It's going to ask us where we want to store it. I'm just going to put it in my content folder. And there it is. So now I've got to fracture it into pieces. So if I go down to the fracture, I'm just going to do uniform and fracture it a couple of times like so and then I'm going to go back to my selection mode so if you want to hide the bone colors it's simple we just go down to general and turn on a uh, turn off so you show bone colors and it goes back to how it was um and let's just simulate this so you can see it working so I'm going to go up to simulate there you go it cracks and falls apart okay and for this, we're going to put it over an edge or something to give it more physics. There you go. Okay. So, all well and good. Now, if I wanted it to fade away, the pieces, all I've got to do is double click on the GC cube or the geometry collection of your cube to open up the actual asset itself. And in here, if you go down, you'll find a section called removal. And uh, removal is currently set to be true for scale on removal, which is the default. But we haven't got anything about it being removed at all. Okay, so when we do remove on sleep, we're going to turn that on. And basically what that means, a sleeping, a sleeping fractured piece is a piece that isn't moving anymore, really. And it goes to sleep. So over here, we've got sleep min max, which is five to ten seconds. Removal duration, which is two and a half to five seconds. Slow moving as sleeping, so that tick box means that if it's not moving, it'll be triggered as sleeping. And then slow moving velocity is the threshold at which it should count it as being uh, slow enough to just fall asleep to. So I'm going to increase that to 500, and I'm going to just leave that as is for now, and go back to the game. Hit the simulate button, and you'll see pieces that are suddenly stop moving will slowly eventually just scale and fade away okay but there's more you could do to it so if we go back to those settings we can adjust the sleep min max value so it's five to ten seconds which you may feel like is too long depends on what you try effect you're trying to do but if I change the sleep time from 0.5 to 2 seconds, it will randomise between those two. And you will see the pieces disappear a lot sooner. Okay. Next we also have is the geometry collections removal duration and this is how long it's going to start fading away so i'm going to change that from 0. Uh, 2.5 to 0. 0.5 change for five seconds down to uh let's do two seconds actually let's do one second there we go and save and i'm just going to break it a bit more by just rotating it on the edge a little bit so it should shatter a bit more better and a bit really wants to stick together doesn't it but there you go it sort of fades away even quicker then do that again. Yeah. So you can feel free to adjust these values as you wish. If you were to change slow moving velocity even higher, say 2000, this thing basically just disappears as soon as it breaks. Um, like if I bring it over here to this wall.
it melts away a lot quicker. So the removal settings are very easy and quick to adjust. And one thing to note as well, you can also set up events for them as well with notify on removal. So feel free to tie in other things like respawners and other objects back onto your chaos objects. If you like this video and want to see more of my content early, head to the patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley where you can find all my videos early from just $1 a month. A massive thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members for the continued support in the channel. Thanks for watching, make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.